So here's a quick example of how to um, use your own GPS tracks to add trails to OpenStreetMap. So go to openstreetmap.org and you will need to create an account and log in first. So this is me. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is click edit. This is going to open up the id editor. Take a moment. So this is assuming that you've um, recorded a GPS track in the GPX format and there are more details um, on how to do that with other tools um, available on the web. So I'm going to skip that part, but I'm assuming you've recorded a track. I'm going to go first and find my GPS track. Here we go. Here we go. So I've now found my, drag my track onto the editor. I'm going to zoom in so I can edit. And you can see here that um, I've already actually added these trails um, from my track in the past, so they exist. And one thing to notice here is that there's the GPS track actually has quite a bit of error from hills and tree cover. It won't be super exact. So um, it gives you a good idea of where the trail is, but um, it's not necessarily perfect. But looking at this track, so this is coming out one direction and coming back, you can see that even though I was on the same trail, there's some error here. So, but it's still a good um, reference. You can drag it around. You know, make the trail shape match what really is on the ground. So if I wanted to add a new trail, so let's say my track went off to the side here. Um, I'll click to find the starting point here. Click on line. And we're going to imagine that I had a pink GPS track going here down into the field. Which, boom, boom, boom. Let's say that's where the trail went. Click on the last one to finish it. So we're tracing our line. We're not importing it directly because as you can see, there's lots of error. Click on path. I'm going to find um, path because this is footpath is uh, for like a sidewalk going around campus for a paved kind of path around campus. This is foot as well as bicycle. So we're going to just choose path. We're going to give this a name. You don't have to give it a name. Mine's going to be called example path. It's not paved. Actually, it's really just ground. Um, here we're going to say that this is designated for feet. And it is designated for um, bicycles and no horses. So that would be designated means that it's signed for it rather than whether or not it is just allowed. Would be, um, so if there's not a sign, just set it as yes. Uh, this one's going to go downhill, so we're going to say it's down. Um, and difficulty, you can see that you click on these eyes to get more information on the wiki. Um, hiking difficulty is really um, more like mountaineering hiking. So. Um, we're talking about like um, quite steep here as you go up the scale. So this is a close that. This is just very mild hiking. Uh, visibility, okay, it's mostly visible, but there only aren't good markers. Mountain biking, okay, a little bit of loose surface. Um, uphill difficulty, it's probably the same. Um, and then once again, all of these, you can see more information on what these are. So we're going to call this one an easy. Um, so if this was actually part of the official signed TAM, um, I could actually add it to the TAM relation. There is a uh, trail around Middlebury 
hiking route, then that would be implying that this was part of the signed hiking route. But it's not, so I'm not going to do that. It's just a side trail. And then I would hit uh, save and add a new example trail by GPS survey, and I would upload that. I'm not going to do it right now because it actually doesn't exist, but um, trace your GPS tracks to make a nice line, give them a tags, name, and then hit upload. So one other way you can um, work with GPS traces is after you log in, go to GPS traces in OpenStreetMap, and then you can upload a trace and just upload the GPX file and you can give it a description and some tags as well as um, how um, visible it is. So whether or not it actually includes timestamps um, or whether it's anonymous or public. Uploading the trace um, actually allows other people to be able to um, use your track as a reference in addition to yourself. So before where we were just tracing a local file um, in the browser, uploading a GPS trace um, makes that usable by yourself and others in the future. Um, so let's let this load. And then I'll go to my traces. So I've already uploaded a whole bunch of these. And then I'll go find um, one of these, such as here's my Lester Hollow trace. And I can just go right in here and to um, edit. And then that will open up the editor with that. Um, GPS file available for tracing. Discard my other changes. And so here we can see, just like before, the pink line is the GPS file. You can see it has a lot of error in it. And at the same time, it's still usable for tracing. So here we have a steep hillside, but it's useful to help get um, the general lay of where the trail is going. So same thing, you click to add a line, trace, 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 make sure that the trails are in it, form an interconnected network. Make your changes and then save.